This is the Drake Passage, a stretch of sea so perilous that it has instilled fear in sailors for centuries. Often referred to as the world's most dangerous sea route, it has been a place to avoid for thousands of years. Many believe that the primary reason for constructing the Panama Canal was to create a shorter link between the east coast of America and the rest of the world. While this is partly true, another significant reason was to avoid the treacherous 620-mile stretch between Antarctica and Cape Horn, where the Pacific, Atlantic, and Southern Oceans converge. But why is this area called the Drake Passage, and what makes it so deadly? To understand, we must journey back to the 16th century when a notorious pirate, Francis Drake, roamed the Atlantic Ocean. During that era, the British and Spanish empires were locked in a fierce battle for global supremacy. Drake, no ordinary pirate, had the backing of the British Empire. He used this support to attack African cities, enslaving their people and bringing them to Britain. His success pleased the British, who then tasked him with challenging the Spanish Empire's hold over South America. Drake's mission was to raid the eastern coast of South America, navigate the Strait of Magellan, and continue his conquests along the west coast. In December 1577, Drake set sail with 200 men on five ships. By April, they reached Argentina, where a mutiny led Drake to execute 40 men by hanging. Leaving two ships behind, he proceeded with the remaining three. Upon reaching the Pacific Ocean, a violent storm separated the ships. One ship, assuming Drake was dead, returned to England, while another vanished in the storm, entering what is now known as the Drake Passage. Drake followed the missing ship to the edge of the passage, but, recognizing the deadly conditions, turned back. At that time, no one knew what lay beyond, as no accurate world maps existed. After his perilous journey, Drake concluded that further exploration of this area would likely result in death. This led to the region being named the Drake Passage, as no other ship had ventured there and returned to tell the tale. Drake speculated about the existence of a new world or an island beyond the sea, which he believed was Antarctica. For centuries, humans had theorized about a southern continent, which the ancient Greeks called Terra Australis Incognita, or the unknown southern land. In the 17th century, British explorer Captain James Cook embarked on a quest to find this southern continent. Despite crossing the Atlantic and entering the Southern Ocean, he never saw Antarctica. His ship, caught in the Drake Passage on the return trip, barely escaped. Cook, one of the greatest explorers of his time who also discovered New Zealand, declared the risk of exploring this region too great for anyone to attempt again. The Drake Passage's dangers are well documented. The convergence of warm Atlantic and Pacific waters with the frigid Antarctic currents creates treacherous conditions. Water flow here increases to 200 million cubic yards per second, making it far more powerful than the Amazon River. Waves can reach heights of 60 to 80 feet, and the mix of warm and cold waters generates frequent cyclones. The temperature can drop below minus 5 degrees Celsius, and the area is remote with Antarctica to the south and deadly seas to the north. Shipwrecks here leave survivors isolated, with little hope of rescue. Despite these dangers, human curiosity persisted. In 1914, renowned explorer Ernest Shackleton attempted to cross Antarctica. His ship was destroyed by ice in the Drake Passage, leading him to make a miraculous journey to South Georgia Island for help. Shackleton's account described the passage as the most dangerous part of the world's oceans. Similarly, in 2012, Brazilian businessman Joel Lara's luxury was caught in a storm in the passage, with 100-foot waves tossing the ship onto Antarctic ice. A Chilean rescue team saved them after four perilous days. Modern ships have reduced the frequency of accidents, but the Drake Passage remains a formidable challenge. Many ships now prefer the safer Strait of Magellan, but the passage's significance endures. As Antarctic ice melts, water flows through the Drake Passage to the world's oceans, reminding us of nature's power and our vulnerability. If you found this content informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.